Shewu Kuti shout out, Tinibu is not in charge. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From my knowledge, I think Shewu Kuti is making a meaningful point when it comes to the affairs of Nigeria and Africa at large. The problem here is that most people think it's under the influence of women. But I must tell you, that is not true. When we see how everything is really going on in this country, Nigeria, we understand why Sean Kuti says Tinibu is not in charge. I'm gonna play the video with you guys so that we all will understand why Sean Kuti made such statement. But before I will do that, if you are new in this particular channel, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish a new content. For all my returning subscribers and those watching my videos on a daily basis, I'm always grateful. Thank you for all you do. At this moment, let's get started. I will continue to pay your eye. Look at what they have built in Dubai. You see, Dubai is Arab imperialist headquarters for the Arabs. That's the headquarters. That's why the Arabs in Egypt cannot make Egypt look like Dubai. Even though Egypt has oil just like Dubai. The only African that was trying to make the only one of them we can't turn himself to African was Gaddafi. Gaddafi turned himself to African man, turned himself to Bedouin. So you know they do Arab again. Go and read what happened with Gaddafi two years before his Gaddafi paid for the African Union to be established. Gaddafi turned towards Africa. Gaddafi stopped looking to the east. He started looking towards Africa. He said, we must unite with Africa. Libya is in Africa. Libya is not Arabic. They connive with the Europeans to get that Libya and call him himself. You think this is a joke? Kevin Hart was going to play in Egypt. Kevin Hart was going to do a comedy show in Egypt last week. He said Egypt is in Africa. Egypt is an African country. They cancelled the show. I said Kevin Hart wanted to do show in Egypt last week. Kevin Hart said Egypt is in Africa. Those Arabs cancelled his fucking show. Say Egypt is an Arabic country. During World Cup, you you Mughals, like you, you Africans know how to disgrace somebody, Sha. Somebody will just be here doing chess for you people. Now just they disgrace the person. Morocco is winning in a World Cup. You people are shouting, it's for Africa, it's for Africa. The Moroccan captain came out and said, we are doing this for Arab, the Arabic world. This is for Arabia. This is for Arabic world. This is for the Arabic world. When will you understand that you have no friends? Friends, you are looking for people. That's what they're going to do. So they say, the international, uh, after the election, <laughs> the international community will arrest the people. They will arrest. I was laughing. I say, oh, the naivety. The naivety of these people. So the only reason Nigeria doesn't look like Egypt or South Africa, Southern Africa today, the only reason we say the mosquito, the sickness was too much. They couldn't settle here. You understand me? Europeans, the white people of this world, they are from Europe. Europe is one continent. They are from Europe. Have you seen Australia recently? They are the ones occupying it. They are like, the full Australia. They're the majority in Australia today. Do you know that Australia is a black country owned by the Aboriginals? Blacker than me and you. How many of you know that Australia is not European? Do you know that those white people are from Europe? All the white people you see in Australia today are from Europe? Do you know that? You think they, are, they were born there? They went there and they took that whole continent from the owners of it. Those people that own it are still there, but they dare not claim, say, they are trying, they are fighting. They are the owners. They are the original owners. But Australia is not their own. United States of America, does it belong to Europeans? Well, are Europeans the owner of North America, Canada, and United States? It's owned by Native Americans. The Inuits of Alaska. 
the Incas of Peru, the Aztecs, the Cherokee. These are the owners of America. Where are they today in their own land? They are almost... They are not up to 10% of their own land. Let's go to South America. How many natives are left? In, in fact, in Argentina, the natives in Argentina are less than 1% of the population of Argentina today. The, I repeat, the natives of Argentina are less than 1% of the population of Argentina today. Because they speak Spanish in Mexico, they say Hispanic. Hispanic is not a race, so don't let them lie to you. It just means they came from Spain. They are Europeans that took that place today and they speak Spanish. Hispanic not be racist. So. They are white people from Europe, from Portugal, from Spain. They have taken all these things from everybody in the world. And they have taken yours too. They have taken everything that belongs to you too. But you are too, your, your elites, these people you worship, that tell you to forget your problem. For three and a half years, them and their students, their boys, will be playing pangolo for you, distracting you, telling you, hey, you go think of a problem all the time. You go crazy. You think of your problem. Forget your problem. You see, you forget your problem for three and a half years. Six months to election, you now want to carry your problem on your head. Thinking you can solve anything with one year, year voting of the same people that are just there to continue this. The best person to continue the. How many of you are, how many of them are really telling you what is happening? That they are not in control. That they cannot develop you. People are telling you in this country that they have billions of dollars. Be, you know what billions of dollars is? People don't understand these numbers. I keep telling you, your brain, our brain as human beings, not just your brain, our brain as human beings, have not evolved to understand this concept of these big numbers. I'm telling you, because people don't understand when somebody says, I have one billion dollar. One, Nikonio, you don't understand what that one billion means. Okay. I always give this example to help people understand. One million seconds. One million seconds is 11 days 1 billion seconds is 38.5 years that is the difference between million and billion I repeat 1 million seconds is 11 days 1 billion seconds is 38.5 years Somebody that says I have one billion dollars can be throwing one one dollar like this for 38 years non-stop before you go finish. Somebody with a billion can be doing one dollar like this every second for 38 years before you go finish. Is this car you want to buy? Okay, Rolls Royce. How much is one Rolls Royce? Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, four hundred thousand. You buy hundred. Rolls Royce. Buy 100. That's 40 million dollars. You still have 960 million. You want house everywhere in the world. One, one million dollar house in all the major cities. So that's one million times maybe 200 major cities in the world. Uh, 200 million dollar. You still have 760 million. Okay, I want to buy my clothes, man. Clothes, man. The latest every... In fact, Gucci. Louis. So you have spent 100 million. You give Gucci 30. So just keep it in your company. Be sending me the latest. You still have, what? 660 million dollars. Okay. So now, amongst us, there are people with billions that they have made from us. I repeat, these are not Bill Gates. These are not the Bill Gates. So you can say, okay, without Bill Gates, there's no Microsoft. 
For God tell me that without Dangote, nobody will sell me cement. There must be somebody to sell me cement. Nobody will grow food and spaghetti. Hey, hey. No, don't tell me that. This is not a Steve Jobs. That without him, they know uh, Apple. They sell our oil, they sell our the things that belong to us. That if anybody sell them, you will become billionaire. Which of your candidates discuss with you redistribution of wealth? When we say redistribution of wealth, we are not saying we want to see see the dollars money or Dangote's money or Illuminati's money and share it for everybody. No, we mean we are going to use laws, hmm? real African laws, to channel their profits towards the building of your schools, the building of your hospitals, the building of your roads, the modernization of your industries and your technologies to bring you to full competition with the world that is with a world that is competing against you. Do you know that world is competing against us even if we are not competing against them? But this is your elite, they only want me their children. Only their children get rights to enter that competition. You and your own children, your only right is to help their children to carry the bag while they are going to the competition. Finish! Then when we are telling you that you have a right to also go for that competition because of your own fear of freedom, you will say she won't be smoking go. I'm happy that that's all you can say about me. That's all you can say. She won't be smoking go. We who say who be your dealer today? Wait till you smoke today. Ah, we say quit weed though. And you've been saying this for over 15 years. I have not stopped. In fact, today I wear both first weed shirt. Don't that tell you if you stop? I will continue to pepper your eye and smoke it, boo. <laughs> I will continue. I will continue. So yeah, you all have been betrayed by your rulers and their and your elites. All of them are betrayers. All of them are betrayers, and they look at you like charity case. You are a charity case. You are not part of them. You are charity to them. That's the best they have for you. You know, and all these your celebs and influencers and motivational speakers, they want you to see the charity of these people as some kind of blessing, not insult. My brothers and sisters, their charity is an insult to you, to your children, and to the things that your ancestors have gone through. For them to take what belongs to all of us after what we have gone through as a people. Look at what we have suffered in our lives as African people. There's some African people now have the opportunity. To at least restore some dignity to our lives instead of that they rather drive rolls royce and uh, fly in private jets and go and rent yacht of oyuboma for three million euro i said that that is a, that is success that is success yeah i show you at the age i'm doing 60 bed at which year birthday my success story after i've ex extracted and exploited my people for over three decades is to rent for one person's yacht and do birthday party for all of you to see that I'm hey, hey, look at what I've achieved. Hey, 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 hey. You are mugus, and all of you are posting and sharing and praising. I think I think when they do that thing, eh? when they do that thing, they need to test whether you people are still. Fools. And every day you people show them that you are. Fools. I repeat, they do that thing to test whether they still be mugu, whether they be una be dead. And una they show constantly say una be mugu, una dance because that party can be held without anybody knowing. That boat can be rented without anybody knowing. They go and do their thing. Those cars can be bought without anybody knowing that it was bought. They will just they drive their thing. If you see them, you see them. Now I go post that. But they release it. It is a, it is called social engineering. Una be mugu. I they tell una. Social engineering, these people they employ the same race social engineers that engineer the American society that keep black people suffering in those countries. They employ those same people here. Yeah. Well, you don't they hear that no one hear that one as long as they open nightclub for now. Now, if you use TikTok and Instagram, the same people where they sell on a TikTok and Instagram say America now is fighting to close down TikTok because TikTok is Chinese. Is influencing their country. If Instagram now is all over Nigeria, 
Are we complaining that it's influencing our children? Are we complaining about TikTok? If we complain that one now, they'll say, Oh, hey, you don't want African people to enjoy life. We are not on the same page as the rest of the world because our rulers and their elitist cousins and friends, because you don't understand, everybody in government, hmm? It is their friends and family that are in the private sector. The Nigerian private sector and public sector are one. There's no difference. Before election, hmm? before election, all the bankers, they may go take picture with Peter Obi, Lumen Lucef, they there. Peter Obi, a fellow banker. They were supporting. He don't lose now. Oh, Elumelu in a uh, visitor yesterday, Bola Tinubu, the winner. He did that discussing something different. These people are one. They are one. There's no division among them. It just be like friends. We go play football match. We'll be friends now. Every Sunday we play match. When we speak ourselves, we go play the match now. You don't want to lose. You want to lose. Even though not just Sunday sets. You have to see Nigeria election as Sunday, Sunday sets. Neighborhood football. Where we play, somebody go win. You go try, you go play your best. You will play your best on the field to win that Sunday set. It not affect the friendship. What will be friend for that place? When we play set finish, we will go drink, we will go chop together. Do you understand? We will go chop, we will go play, we will do everything together. After set, you will there now, you will go watch the set now as spectator. Sunday, Sunday set will not be anything. You begin fight your friend. Because one team, one win, one team, you not, not begin fight, blow, blow, na eye, you not blow, na eye, finish, you not see, say, the people will play match, they drink and eat together. I don't get it. So they, they are sitting on billions, all these people. From, you know, say, talking, Obi is a billionaire. You said it yourself. Any billionaire in Nigeria can revolutionize any uh, sector in this country for the people of this country without help. Once you have up to billion, you see, in education you want to change for this country, you can change it. You and your friends, you call them, want to develop our country. This is not for profit. And it's not charity. We will constitute a, a committee, put a board of people with no education, say develop, we will, pay, we will fund it. Improve, in our health care, if now housing, whatever it is, these people have amassed the wealth to develop this country. The wealth that we need to develop Nigeria is in people's hands and bank accounts in Panama and in London and in all the places that they keep idle our money all over the world. Yet you people sit down there fighting over crumbs and talking. What's going on? The whole of Africa has been taken. The whole of the world was at one time taken. Go and read the history of the Chinese people. Go and check the history of the Chinese. Look what the Chinese people went through in the hands of the British people, in the hands of the Americans. Because by that time, America was becoming a strong empire. Go and read about the opioid wars, where Europe forced the Chinese people to become heroin addicts. Forced them to become heroin addicts. Our own was alcohol. They forced all our elites in Africa to become alcoholics. Many of the deals that were signed, many of these so-called protectorate, many of the kings signed it, they were drunk of gin and whiskey. We they never taste before. They never see that kind of strong drink. We don't do that kind of emu we get. All this uh, will go on and new team will begin distilled after we discovered Oibo gin. Africans didn't have strong alcohol like that. Oibo knocked them whiskey. People had blow. They'll come, um, they'll come, some, uh, come town, get everybody in the town drunk, like friends, you know, give you drink. We don't know, say, hang over the day. Everybody there, hang over the next morning. You know, if you fight now, nah. you wait till they stay asleep from yesterday, shall you? You don't know what you went through, you don't know what we've been through. And I don't know the steps we don't take to reach where we did. And why they now make us say, the mistake where they make that time, they say, they allow us to see our reality. Because under colonialism, 
which was the next step after slavery, under colonialism, we could still see our oppressor. We could see our oppression. And our people stood up and fought it again. And they realized, say, if these people can see what is happening to them, they will dismantle it totally. We must hide it from them. We must put it in a way that they don't know it is happening. We must find our friends among them to, that look like them, to act like what is going on belongs to them. That's what is going on. And the moment you see, yeah, you can see beyond these things. I mean, ask this, this is the question. This is where they let themselves down with all these billions being amassed in this country that they are proud to say that they have. Not because they really talk and they tell Bloomberg, that they tell Forbes, this one get five billion dollar, this one get twelve billion dollar, this one get eight billion dollar, this one get twenty-five billion dollar. Why is this country still like this? So until you people start to seek political seek solutions that go in the line of this ideology, you will never progress. You will never ever move past one a day. Playing this for six months politics, June to February, eight months politics, to line up behind one oppressor that will help you run, run, this, run this European enterprise. That Africa you think of, that echo, whatever, that one that uh, about Bini came to form, it is no more and we this is our great battle of this generation to break these pillars of imperialism to reclaim completely our destiny and reclaiming completely our destiny thank you very much <laughs>